Huh. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. See, I do not remember there being any collectibles in this room. On the bridge. Nerd. Still facing left. Is it left down here? Now it's to the right. And now it's left. This mechanic is wildly annoying. It's gonna be at the very bottom down here, right? And now it's left again. Pass the threshold for it. You see how annoying this is? You're not just pointing at the recovery block, are you? No, you're not. Hmm. This has not got this other chain chomp, though. something to the right. You could also be pointing at the switch, so let's just get rid of that switch, shall we? might also be the final two pipes we'll see in the game. Wow, she's here already. She's the inconsistency. Okay, so you are actually pointing at something. Okay, maybe what she's detecting is on that island there, because I don't remember any collectibles on that island. Let's just go over there. We're not actually going in there, but I gotta see if there's collectibles over there first. Okay, so they actually hid stuff up here. That's clever. For all I know, this could have been the GameCube. 
For all I know, honestly. Yeah, we got the shooting star. We won't need it that bad, will we? Oh no. What I should do is just start consuming these recipes. I uh, figured this would be an ultra stream. This dungeon will have a lot of uh, a lot of ultra shrimps and jam and jellies. So I could have waited until now to get those recipes, but nah. Better just get the recipes before coming here, you know? It's not really that picky. Okay, they're not supposed to play this music yet. They're supposed to play the, the normal palace music. have another new enemy here. But in fact, just a whole new species. This is a wizard. Dark Wizard. We haven't even seen a normal Wizard variant because those will only appear in the pit, weirdly enough. So here we have just four straightforward hallways in a row, but there is a reason for that. And she's saying use your skills and partners even though there's nothing to use them on here. There's a reason for that. First, another chain chomp. In fact, that Dark Wizard was actually the last unique enemy here outside of the bosses. I guess I should just take all power smash. I feel like it hasn't really been that useful. But piercing blow is basically a better version of it. Uh, this hallway is just plain empty. No enemies at all. <laughs> yep. Okay, well, they add an ice storm here. I do not really see this being useful. Coops, why don't you eat up? You're getting a battle coming soon.
Yeah. There's a single ember. How threatening. I'm kind of distracted by something. I cannot see what you're throwing. Well, sorry, Puny, but that was useless anyway. I guess I'll just use that ice storm now. Why not? <laughs> Or they gave that to me. face, I think. <laughs> no one's disturbed me here in the eons! Who dares defile the second place? Um, is that hook tail? I know he beat her before. She caught up my dad. What's she doing back? What? You destroyed my precious younger sister? I wonder why she hadn't written recently. Wicked for your mortals, for I am Gloomtail. I'll avenge my sister by taking your lies and then gnawing on your bones. How do they send letters to each other? How? Guess through some inner inner communication dragon magic. Wa ha 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 ha! My first fresh meat in ages! Allow me to take my time and toy with you a while. So Gloomtail here was foreshadowed by Grifty. I forgot to put those badges on. Good thing we saved. <laughs> Joy-Con Drift, thank you for nothing. Okay, I can skip all the tile stuff. So, uh, we do not need ice power. And that, uh, that gives me just enough to put on a feeling fine. And really, I just need it for myself. And I will have Gumbella out this time, we can see her dialogue, and we need to tattle him anyway. Isn't that hook tail? We totally beat her before. What's she doing back? The other partners just mentioned how, like, Mario talked about beating hook tail. But actually, Coops is a more interesting dialogue since he actually had a, his had a beef with hook tail. We also need Vivian for this fight. 
Yeah, but yeah, like she just said. So yeah, I want feeling you want feeling fine to survive the poison. Or pretty lucky works too. That's okay, Goombella. You will not be able to help much in this fight. I will um I was gonna have Vivian out for now though. But eventually I will want Koops to finish them off. You are tough meat, my little tasty morsels, but how will you fare against this? <laughs> yeah, he's got a shockwave attack. Very... not good. I would like it if Vivian heals me, please. It's about time we put these, uh, zest meals to use. FP2 at that. Not these prey you appear to be. I would never be able to show my face again if I was bested by you, whelps. So I'll show you the true extent of my power. So here's the part where you need Vivian. Do you understand my true power now? Yeah. Oh, wow, that was pathetic. So was that. I think I'm just gonna have Cooper Duper out for now, so we can finish this battle off the way I intend. But, I'm also going to show how Supernova works. Just like a bob on bass, lots of button mashing. Not as bad as Canary Mary, though. That does hurt my elbow a bit, yikes. Mm. How can this be? See, you're not even going to do your charge attack, so I still don't need Vivian. Got evasion now, not that we'll need it. And that's Koops' victory of the chapter. No, no, is it true? Can I expire? And that, does that give us a level up?
Well, we're definitely going to get a level up before the next boss, so that's great. You know, Koops, you're a real dragon slayer. <laughs> I guess I am, Mario. Boy, these dragons sure like to eat stars, huh? We do got something special over here, and this is missable. There's a secret room. Yeah. Uh, this used to be a jam and jelly. This used to be an ultra shroom. Okay. Well, I guess they just moved the Jam and Jelly and Ultra Shroom to the courtyard, so those were new in this version. I mean, Gradual Syrup could be useful in the next boss fight. You know, I also want- I actually wanted to use the boost sheet in this fight, uh, completely slipped my mind, so, oh well. I don't need to eat that because we're going to use a recovery block outside. I don't know. Eh, I'll just pitch the boost sheet. Who cares? I think if you come back to this room just a little bit later, Gloomtail's body will be gone. As if it just poofs into nothingness like a Zelda boss. But that won't be a very long time because we won't be able to come back to this room. I think we already cleaned the enemies up. This next section is one of my favorites in the whole game. Ooh, and they really made the floor glittery too, I love it. <laughs> what? Oh, that sucks. He actually can't start these rooms until he brings the Star Stone. I mean, it used to be he could just do these steps in any order, but sure, whatever. I love the music of this place. I call this place the Tower of Riddles, not just the generic Palace of Shadow Tower. Mario, look at that! It's totally huge. What is it, you think? I mean, 
me lots and lots of dungeon keys. See, that's why I like getting the keys from these rooms first, because then you're like, what do we need all these keys for? Yeah. It's a minor change that I'm not really fond of. Actually, I can just jump down this place. Oh, it's so awesome. Same thing, but vice versa. The seven hewn by a fell hand. Onward, onward, onward. Retreat, retreat. I like. Okay, no, I like the original uh, riddle better. In fact, even those uh, little clues there are different. I'm actually going to look these up. Something tells me I'm just going to like the originals better, so I'm just going to have this, uh, the page on hand. So, it used to be beyond, 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 complete all seven, before, before. And Kumbella, like, would also give you another hint about how to beat these puzzles. But here she just says it's related to the history of the tower. So yeah. So these signs will give you clues to the riddle, but the ones written in the, the text in blue font will be like um some lore. Mas this used to be Master of Shadow and Dark. Now it says Master of Shadow, Queen of Fear. So foreshadowing the final boss. Four four stones Four stones, twin stones. Two are one, one is two. It used to be twin stones. So this used to be the Ultra Hammer block in the first game, and they reused the model for it, but for a different purpose. All you see is and all there be, touch it to pass through it. Send survival the celestial spheres. Though it, I think it used to say, um, oh, I'm not quite sure what this one was. Like, it might have been stones have power, power of stars, or can live again by the stone. But yeah. Fake wall. Uh, there was something similar in the first game. We don't even need the lens of truth. You know, most of Ocarina of Time is beatable without the lens of truth. I'm already low battery. Okay, so Jesus says the same thing every room. Guess I'll have to worry about tattling this place now. Far and wide across the land. The unseen may yet be felt, be it here, be it there. The 
basically gives like almost each of our party members a puzzle, except for Coops. <laughs> Now this room is, uh, pretty interesting. So the idea is we need to kill all these dry bones in order of weakest to strongest. So we get to see the generic dull bones one more time, while we're gonna see in the pit as well. It's one of the only times they actually do a special gimmick regarding the uh, an enemy family from weak to strong. It's the last time we'll see Red Bones. The Hooktail Castle mini boss. And yeah, that's why we're gonna go a level up before the next battle. Carrying the lore of the sky. Let fall the weakest and build to the strongest. Um, it used to be in that the skies lie. I do like the original messages better. Yeah. It's also the only time you see a dry bones uh, faking dead before you approach it. The other dry bones are already active yeah. and just throwing the bones at you. And there's our level up, precisely. I choose this Metadon! More BP! <laughs> 69! I mean, feeling fine will actually be handy in the next boss fight, so I guess I'll keep it on. Maybe FP+. Plus. This is the last time we'll see Dark Thones. Bobbery, finish it off for good this time, why don't ya? This is your, uh, battle of the dungeon. Cheap three star points. I feel like you just spawn the chests automatically, instead of having to hit the switch first. And also the track that plays in this dungeon uh, is similar to the Hip Hunter Trials theme. So yeah, similar to the other room that we are just in. By skill and might, engraved in stone. Okay, now this one was Can Live Again by the Stone. Or, like, Four Sins, Twin Sins, Can Live Again by the Stone. So now I gotta backtrack down to this room. Which is a lot faster in this version, because we can jump over fences. Alright, now we're actually going to listen to the GameCube music, because we won't have much time in this dungeon. I really love this music, again. It just gives a really, uh, chilling vibe. It's 
It's like, it's the kind of vibe where, like, you're in the depths of the world. You're nearly at the end of the game. Like, the, tre the treasure, the, uh, the goal you've been building toward, it's coming close. Your confrontation with the ancient demon. You just don't get this kind of feeling in your generic Mario game. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's why, like, this trilogy was so remarkable. This is my favorite, uh, Paper Mario Final Dungeon. But Bowser's Castle and Castle Black were also really good. Uh, Origami Castle for the new trilogy. It was pretty good, had a great track. Not as good as these ones, though. Uh, Bowser's Castle and Sticker Star. Hearing secrets from on high, straight on, straight onward. Destroy all in your path. Uh, this might have been in that the skies lie. But here, we need Bobbery. Uh, yeah, Bowser's Castle from Sticker Star was, uh, pathetic. It was there's only, like, one unique room, then it was just a boss fight with Kamek and Bowser. Uh, Black Bowser's Castle from Color Splash was slightly better. Uh, the bob -omb Factory was really cool, especially that puzzle where you need Huey on the treadmill. It's like the one time you need a Huey hint, because it's actually a mechanic that works there. Um, there was a neat boss fight with Roy, and Bowser fight was cool, but overall it was just a decent dungeon at best. It was very short. You were meant to use Vivian to... Uh, get the switch to reveal itself, but you don't really need her, which is sad because this is the last puzzle that would have involved Vivian's powers. Really sad, honestly. The stars up in heaven shone. The shy one hides his shape. The shy one hides his face. Uh, and I believe this one would have been... Oh yeah, well, they actually tell you right here. But the stars bring balance. So I was gonna read, uh, the original messages here. Complete all seven, so that we, the Great Ones, Master of Shadow and Dark, can live again by the stone. Stones have power of stars. We know the stars spurn us, and that the skies lie, but the stars bring balance. It's like, uh, complete all seven, the crystal stars, and the stone- the stones have power of stars, again the crystal stars, and they can live again by the stone, because the- the demon needs the crystal stars to be revived, because, you know, we open the thousand year door and stuff, and uh, so this kind of, like, it references, like, a special race that the demon was part of. And, uh, well, spoiler, the Shadow Sirens are part of that race. It's basically the Shadow Race. Uh, so that gives you an idea of what the demon is. And I will just insert all these dungeon keys. I just really like this tower. The the, mu the music is really chilling. Uh, the puzzles are fun. Uh, the cryptic lore is really nice. It's like a mar like a Mario game with cryptic lore. It's so cool. And the Super Paper Mario also had pretty good lore, but and yeah, there was and there was uh, some secret history you can learn about. It's not quite to the same level as this game, I think. And Paper Mario just didn't really have any lore. There is a special ROM hack called Ma Paper Mario Master Quest that kind of gives some more lore to Paper Mario 1. So that's really neat. Mario RPG didn't really have in-depth lore either. 
The stars up in the heavens shone. So they actually tell you the message again here. Carrying the lore of the sky, carrying secrets from on high, by skill and might engraved in stone, stones to rival the celestial spheres, the seven hewn by fell hand, feared and wide across the land. Master Shadow, Queen of Fear. So the only... The only reference, like, one being here, the Master of Shadow, Queen of Fear, singular, it doesn't, like, mention we, like, we the Great Ones. It doesn't, like, like, mention, like, an extended race of this demon. Uh-oh, it's moving. Huh? What? So yeah, this hallway is getting completely transformed, so we won't be able to go back to Gloomtail's room to get those secrets, which we already got, thankfully. What was that? <laughs> nice. Oh, there's also the last time after Pirate's Grotto that we need the paper boat power. It's very under underutilized. Like, even, like, just counting the optional stuff. Like, they could have easily put it in Riverside Station. Like, it used to be a canal. Just say, oh, there's still a bit of water in here. We gotta sail across it. We could have sailed, like, on the on a, like, a large fountain in Poshley Heights. There could be, like, a secret area around the Great Tree where we gotta sail on some water. I'm just saying, just pitching ideas here. Um, but now, we want Vivian out for this. We've been waiting for you, Mario. Oh, I forgot to switch to the new music. This could have been a remix theme, but now I can hear the original theme. Huh? Professor Frankly, what are you doing here? Thank you so much for opening the door for us, Mario. Yes, that was nice. Thanks to your do good of predictability, my plan is progressing very smoothly. Sis, how dare you? What do you mean about us opening the door for you? <laughs> so you still don't see it? Ah, such fools. The Professor Frankly you're with when you open the thousand year door is none other than this little freaking sheet. Oh, my name's Dupless. That's why Frankly was acting kind of pushy down there. <laughs> the real Frankly is probably still is sleeping off a nasty lump in the head of a closet somewhere. It's, uh, she doesn't mention in this version. Poor thing, and once we get rid of you here, our plan will be nearly complete. Ready for the end, my dears? You and that traitor Vivian have a date with eternity. Uh -huh. That's right, Slick. Eternity. Shut up, freak. Oh, okay, right. Sorry. I'm with Mario all the way. Today, sis, I'm going to punish you. You hear me? I love that line. Come, my sort of lovelies, Marilyn. Freak sheep. Uh -huh. I said my name's Dupless! Have some candy! Alright, my kind of lovelies, this time we take out Mario and his goon squad for good. Maybe that's the right Joy-Con this time. I guess it was just now beeping, so I guess it was the right Joy-Con that was low. So, if I catch you slacking, you'll be in for INCREDIBLE punishment come tomorrow! Oh, okay, 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 okay! And it seems we had to retattle these guys, even though we already tattled the original fight, so they should still be tattled now, but I digress. Uh, I'm just gonna have Vivian get started on her sister, because that's gonna be Vivian's victory in the chapter. Spoilers. No, I'm not even gonna worry about tattling. I'm just gonna keep this a surprise. Yeah. 
Aha. Might as well just veil to hide from Marilyn's attack. Or not! Well, now I kind of wish I had that booze sheet. Hmm. Strategy, strategy, strategy. How about I just increase our stupid freaking defense power? Or I could use Clock Out and try to freeze him in time. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna try Clock Out for the first time ever. Show you how it works. Uh, it did not work on the person I wanted it to work on. Well, at least she only attacked Vivian. Alright. I'm going to have Madame Fleury, because I want Dupless to be her victory of the chapter. Basically, Dupless and Marilyn have 40 HP, and Beldum has 30. In fact, I think it's just, uh, I think Marilyn should have only 10 HP left now, because I just knocked out a bunch of it. You know what? Marilyn can be number four's victory. That was perfect. No! Also, if Belden was still active, uh, and Marilyn was running low, she would say, Are you alright, Marilyn? Because Marilyn's the only one she cares about, and Marilyn would say, Alright, now I'll switch back to Flutie. So we, we at least took out the strongest member, and the rest of this fight should go smoothly. Now Zuplis is going to use his shape-shifting skill again. <laughs> On me! He can also change into our party members. That's kind of... That's why I missed the Duplicos from the first game, like, as a semi-common enemy, because... You know, they just turn into your party members, and, um, like, if you tattle the transformations, there are unique tattles for the transformations. And I do wonder if they kept that true, true in this remake, where, like, the transformations had their unique tattles. Kinda doubt it. And then he wastes a turn mimicking Flurry now, so even better better even better battle match. Hey, you! Freak sheet! Pull it together, will you? Don't make me punish you! This is sorry! <laughs> oh, she also gave herself more chances to attack. Good thing I'm immune to poison! Haha! -ha. Huh. You're a far cry from the original, my dear. No one can match my beauty and grace! Mario, have I redeemed myself now? Eh, I guess so. Oh no! 
so with that, it is time for Vivian to finally punish her sister. Uh, who fails to poison me as I am immune to poison! <laughs> and now I'm just invincible. Haha, <laughs> this is awesome! Vivian, you're looking a little, uh, worn out there. Well, that's not even a healing item. So please, have a jelly mushroom. Mmm, delicious! See, sis, you never give me good food like this. Gah, cursey Mario, this is so very annoying. Blast it! How's that for good food, eh? Yeah! Hmm. Is that the best you can muster, you little twit? Maybe one more! <laughs> but this is the gratitude I get, Vivian! Yep, yep, yep. At this rate, she will never oh, go. I'm sorry, sis. Let's leave these cards, Mario. Let's leave these idiots, Mario. Yeah, we'll look at all the partner dialogue here. Yeah, who's this chi she just mentioned? Yeah, indeed. Indeed. Let's leave these doofuses, Mario. Ha! <laughs> Get it? Doofless? Doofus? <laughs> Let's leave these wimps, Mario. Even I'm stronger than them. Let's leave these louts, Mario. Let's leave these wusses, Gonzales! And that was our second boss of this dungeon. Um... So I can take off feeling fine. I'm going to put the ice power back on, because we're going to be fighting some more phantom members. What should I spend these three on? I mean, zap tap, I guess. I mean, there's just gonna be chain chomps, this won't be that useful. Piercing blow, though, that'll be good against chain chomps. I guess Ice Smash, we can potentially freeze some enemies. All right, let's go. Uh, and I will turn off the GameCube music. You know, we're gonna listen to the remix of this next half since we already heard the the. Uh, I mean, we're gonna listen to the original version of this next half because we already heard the remix version. So this is the point where they would have played this music, and I think it's a lot better reserved for this part of the dungeon, like before you trans- like after you transform the hallway. Because now you really feel like you're closing in on the climax, and I love that decoration on the wall there. Get out a little Koops puzzle here. 
Thunderlaga. And we have more of these dudes. Miss Mal's will actually be helpful here. And I like how the battle theme doesn't interrupt it. That's good. We can just keep listening to this epic music. I'm just gonna use an art attack. Very decent star points here. See, Akun Bell will have the exact same titles as in the original hallway. That's why she says all this stuff, because now the hallway gets a bit more puzzly. Let's now let's come back out. Strategies, baby, strategies. Now we have a Koops puzzle. Should be our last Koops puzzle. We never really had to use his hold power anymore. Shame that. Wow, how absolutely useless. And we get these blocks again from Hooktail Castle. We just want the green one to fall. Speaking of falling, we should actually be down there. Then, uh, we can find a chain chomp. Let's see if there's anything over here, actually. No? Okay. I don't think there's anything in here. This is just a way to, like, get out. If you fall from up there. Never actually showed off the Ultra Hammers. Let's just do it. That's actually a very good strategy right there. Now I can just use a piercing blow to finish you off.
I don't remember... Okay, let's just use Miss Mal's. I don't remember if there's a secret up there. There is not. Okay, let's just move on then. I don't really know who to have out next, so just... Whatever. And here's the last time we need our spring jump. And this is also a remix of the Mario Underground theme. It's definitely my favorite remix of that tired old theme. Indeed. Uh, I guess we'll just have Bobbery out, because... Maybe we'll just have Cubes out, because we're going to be fighting some embers. Lots of embers. Then only give one star point now because they're pathetic. And Coops, you can just finish them off with Power Shell, correct? Perfect. Well, yeah, I messed it up, but it still worked out, didn't it? I actually got this when I was farming the enemies in Rogueport Sewer, so now we just have... Might actually have three of these, because I got it from its original source, I think. Don't quote me on that, though. Uh, smells... You know what? I'm actually going to save this Thunder Rage for the next boss. So I guess... Heart Attack. Because I'm sure we're going to level up before I get to that boss. What am I creating? It, that was a shoe. I just created a shoe. <laughs> and then I was creating a mouth. <laughs> With big lips. Actually, though, uh, one of my strategies is to save my level up for the next boss. Like, you know, I'm gonna defeat the next boss, then I'll level up. And I think that would actually be a better strategy. So, yeah. I think from this point on, I'm not gonna get in any fights. Well, I guess I could just get one more fight, and I'm sure I won't get enough star points to level up. For now, we have another unique Bobbery puzzle. Alright, so memorize this pattern. a dungeon key first and foremost. We might need number four here. Oh, pfft. I don't know why I thought I could just walk over that. I might have been able to just make that jump normally.
Yes, indeed. Like using coops again. I'll power punch. Whatever. I would rather keep my AoE items for this next fight, so... Goodbye, Power Punch. And now we need our Paper Thin ability for the last time. I think there's a Phantom Ember. Oh no! Hmm. I thought this was a Phantom Ember. I get maybe it's always been a wizard. I'm glad there's only one of it. It's just hard to nav do this puzzle while navigating around this guy. It's like the seven crystal stars, or the seven star spheres, or the seven star pieces in Mario RPG. There's just lots of seven stars out there, but only eight hearts. We activated a mechanism. Yeah, the lore behind the, the uh, Dark Wizards here is that they're from the Ancient Civilization. Because you know Ancient Civilizations have special technology, it's just the lore of every universe. You know, I gotta forget that once uh, number four walks off a ledge, he loses all momentum, unlike in the GameCube version. You know? so make of that what you will. Con Drift, don't betray me now. I do want to hold on to this life stream. We'll be handy. Uh, we do need some FP, I guess, so... Alright, who's hungry for Electro Pop? Mm, how about Flurry? Because she's a wind spirit. Electricity probably goes with her. Ooh, oh my, how tingly! Hmm. Vivian, protect me from the Joy Con drift. That's my girl. <laughs> Advisor's block, because there's a block obstacle right here. <laughs> Clever. Oh, the block even has wind symbols to say, hey, use Flurry. So we had to use Flurry, plus Ultra Hammer, plus the Ground Pound. That's the final time we need Ground Pound for a puzzle. We had just a generic coin block, above which is a point swap. This is the only point swap that you find... Anywhere but the Glitz Pitch Shop. Very unusual. Although I think we found a different one in this version, so I digress. See, now I don't want to risk getting frozen. So Vivian can eat this. Oh my! How chilly! I hope that doesn't deplete your firepower any. Nope, I'm as feisty as ever. <laughs> and they even pan the camera out to show that, um, that you're in the same room as this. See, it's an interconnected dungeon! Just like Zelda, it's so cleverly designed. Oh, I wish Zelda had good dungeons again. But at least we got the ROM hacks for that. And the final room, we need our plane power. Which is anything but a plane power. It's a very fun power, actually. 
We will need number four in this room. This is also the same room as the one we were just in with uh, the three-way, three-time puzzle. So you can't even use coops to hold that switch, so you're intended to use number four's running. It's really the only puzzle where you need number four's running. So that's really clever. And that is actually our boss key, baby. The time is now. Well, we landed perfectly on that, didn't we? Might as well just squeeze out some last uh, star points. We're not going to collect much from them. So we'll definitely be able to level up on the boss itself. My, how terrifying. I... Like, Art Attack will be helpful on the boss, but I got a bunch of AoE items. I'm not really going to need it. So yeah, it... So when I say it's a boss where AoE is very helpful, you should probably guess what's coming up. It's a multiple enemy boss. In fact, it's a it's a multiple enemy boss where even these low damage AoE items will be extremely helpful. So just keep that in mind. And there's another AoE item up there. Might as well just get that when we can. I think that'll just be my final battle before the next boss. So yeah, you guys get to live in your afterlife. Gotta get that uh, shooting star now. Oh, and uh... I kind of missed both of them, because I was kind of disoriented by seeing the live stream was still there. Yeah, I didn't think you could make that. It's just that with how the plane controls are kind of worse now, I'm just worried about easily missing these. Alright, time to eat another zest recipe. Or just get rid of this uh, point swap that I will never use. No, now I have to do another cycle of, like, two more cycles of it. You know, what's the only unique skill we don't really use in this dungeon? Let me think. No, we just about had to use all of our uh, abilities. Well, Vivian. We don't actually need Vivian's Veil to beat that one puzzle, so she's the only, like, uh, ability that we don't need, but she is good against the bosses, of course. So, I think now we'll just eat this, um, hmm, what should I eat? I guess we'll just eat the Zest Cookie. Who here wants a Zest Cookie? Oh, I haven't had anything, and I've been carrying a lot on my back here! Well, here, number four, have a Yoshi cookie. I mean, Yoshi cookies are a thing, so... It only fits that number four should eat it. <laughs> Miss Mouse, are there any secrets that I do not know about here? So there is... 
Yeah, I guess I should have just looked behind this thing. This is this thing is completely useless. Goodbye. We have a Thunder Rage! Okay, what are we eating next? I mean, this doesn't restore that much, so I'll just eat a spicy pasta. Vivian, you can just chase that, uh, that frappe down with this. Power yourself back up. Mmm, delicious! I'm more fired up than ever, Mario! I'll just reset the room to see if there's any secrets. Good, nothing in here, because this is not really an easy room to backtrack through. Alright, perfect. You're 100%ing the final dungeon, baby. And they give us some items in this room now. They did not do that originally. Wow, a fire flop. That would be actually be good against this boss, but not very. Okay, what are we eating next? Who likes ink pasta? Hmm. I could go for a dish of that dough, boy. All right, here you go, Bobbery. I'm just feeding all my party members, because I'm a good leader. Uh, pff, I'm not, I'm just not going to pick that up. We're just going to use these AoE items in the boss fight, and then we'll be on our way. And then I'll just come back for those ones, I guess. What is this weird rim? It's quiet, a little too, well, let's just say it's quiet. That's a, that's a cliche. And here's the boss dog. Jeepers, this room gives me a super bad feeling, Mario. What is this chamber? Jeez, <laughs> why do you think? Well, next time, we got some battles on our hands. <laughs> 